Hey everyone, Michael Ferrara here, and today we're going to talk about how to pay less for your Medicare supplement plans. So again, my name is Michael Ferrara. I am with Ferrara Services, and I am your Medicare agent. Been an agent for a little over 10 years now. Been specializing in helping seniors understand their Medicare benefits and ultimately help them stop overpaying for the Medicare supplement plans. Too many seniors out there are being overcharged. They're paying too much for their, their benefits that they really don't need to. So I help them understand their benefits and then show them ways that they can reduce their premiums and put more money in their pocket and not and stop paying so much to the insurance company for the same benefits. So let's go ahead and get into the presentation here. So looking at your Medicare supplement plans, I'm looking here on page 80 of your Medicare and You 2018 handbook, which you may receive in the mail or you probably have a digital copy. So these are your plans A, B, C, D, F, G, K, L, M, and N. And these are your only Medicare supplement plans out there. And the most important part to understand here is each one of these plans are identical. Okay, so plan F, for instance, with Blue Cross and Blue Shield is going to be the same plan F with Mutual of Omaha, Liberty, Mutual, Equitable, Thrivent, Bob's Insurance Company. It doesn't matter the insurance carrier they have to by law offer the same benefits so they're gonna pay out exactly what you see listed here so plan F plan G plan N are the popular plans that we'll be looking at so let's go ahead and get right into that so how can you save money on your Medicare supplement plan you know this is the common question that I get and a lot of seniors and most people in general, you know, they're afraid of change. They've been with one carrier for a long time. They've been paying their monthly pe their premiums. And when they go to the doctor at the hospital, their benefits are taken care of. Everything gets paid for. They don't have to worry about it. So when we present them another opportunity, another company, that they can get the same benefits they're getting right now, but at a lower premium, they get kind of reluctant. They get nervous because they're afraid that if they switch carriers, their benefits are going to change. And that's not the case by any means. Like we stated in the previous screen, your plan F with Blue Cross and Blue Shield is the same plan F with Mutual of Omaha, Thrivent, Liberty Bankers Life, Bankers Fidelity. It doesn't matter. So shopping around is key. Because when you shop around, you're going to be able to see what the premiums are for each carrier, and then you're going to be able to select or go with that cheaper premium getting the same benefits. So I just have a quick screenshot here of a quoting engine. As you can see here, we simply put in the zip code, age, gender, the plan, what the effective date, hit get quote, and it's going to quote, it's going to give us a premium for all the carriers across the board. And as you can see on this front screen here, the premiums can be considerably different. As we can see this plan F, the cheapest in this area is through Liber Liberty Bankers Life for $137.46 a month. And then you go down $144.98, $154, $158 per month. So they all change. Okay. So the other way that you can really save money is to get off of plan F. Plan F is the most popular plan and here's why. Plan F is super easy to sell. Most agents out there don't really understand how Medicare supplement plans work. So if I'm gonna sell you a plan and I don't really understand how it works, I'm simply gonna offer you plan F because guess what? Everything's paid for, don't have to explain anything, don't have to understand how it works because Hey, anything you do is going to be covered at 100%. Part A deductible, covered. Part B deductible, covered. Part A coinsurance, covered. Part B coinsurance, covered. Everything's covered at 100%. So I can just sell it that way. Another big reason is it's the most expensive. So if I am going to offer you the most expensive plan, what is that going to mean for me? 
It's going to mean more commission in my pocket. It's going to make me more money to sell this plan, to get you enrolled in this plan. So it's benefiting me. It's really not benefiting you, okay? So you want to get off that plan. Plus, Plan F is going away in 2020. So what does that mean to you if you're on Plan F currently? That means that after the year 2020, no, no one new can go on to Plan F. If you're already on Plan F, you're going to keep your Plan F. However, the rate increases are going to continue the way they are. They're going to be big, 5%, 10%, 15%, 20%. Who knows how big the rate increases are going to go, but they're going to go up quite a bit because they don't want anybody on Plan F. They are losing money on Plan F. So getting off Plan F is important. Let's take a look at an example. So I can really break this down to you and show you how you can save money. So we're just taking a female just like we looked at, age 68, living in zip code 60585. Because with your Medicare supplement plans, it does depend on your zip code. It's all based on your zip code. The nice thing, though, about your Medicare supplement plans is you can go anywhere in the United States that accepts Medicare. You're not restricted by the networks. You're not restricted by doctors you're not restricted by you know referrals or whatever as long as that hospital or doctor accepts Medicare because Medicare is your insurance carrier your supplement plan will follow Medicare okay it follows Medicare it doesn't go before Medicare so if they accept Medicare your supplement plan is gonna pay out so that's the nice thing about it so in this example the age 68 female living in area code 60585 the lowest rate for plan F is 137.46 a month or $1,649.52 a year. Now I did not incorporate the household discount which in some states as long as you have someone over a certain age living at home with you you will get a household discount. Other states will require both you and your spouse to both be on a Medicare supplement plan with that same carrier to qualify for that household discount. So for that reason, I did not incorporate that household discount in this example. So if this individual is on Plan F, paying $137.46 a month, they have the cheapest Plan F, so that's good. But let's look at Plan G. If we move them to Plan G, their premium will go down to 109.60 a month or $1,315.20 a year. So that's a $334.32 a year savings or $27.86 a month extra in their pocket each and every month. So as you know with Plan G, you are going to be responsible for that Part B deductible, which is $183 for the year. Once you reach that $183 for the year, you don't pay anything else. Your Part B coinsurance is covered at 100%. Everything else is covered at 100%, just like your Plan F. Now, if you don't go to the doctor and you don't use that deductible, this full $334.32 a year savings will be yours. If you do go to the, the doctor and you you start using that Part B deductible, those savings will go down a little bit. So looking at Plan F and Plan G, either way you look at it, that 183 deductible is getting paid either by you or by your plan. Plan F pays that 183 deductible for you and you pay a convenience fee to the insurance company to pay that deductible for you whether you use it or not. So another way that you can reduce this is Plan N. Now Plan N is not always the best case in all states, in all situations, but in this this scenario, if we look at Plan N, her premium would go down to $93.55 a month. That's $1,122.60 a year. That's a $526.92 a year savings or $43.91 a month extra in her pocket. Now with Plan F, Plan N, it works kind of like Plan G. You're going to have to pay your Part B deductible which again is at 183. 
the one big difference between plan N and plan G is you will have co-payments in some instances. For example, for some office visits, you will be required to pay a $20 co-payment, okay? If you go to the emergency room and you're not admitted into the hospital, you're going to have a $50 co-payment for each time you go into that emergency room. So depending on how you're using that, that plan N can start getting quite expensive. So at this, looking at the example again, switching from plan F to plan G, we can see that this individual would save $334.32 a year. If we switched her from plan F to plan N, she would save $526.92 a year. The other instance that we did not look at here is what if she's on plan F and she absolutely loves plan F and doesn't want to switch from plan F. We can look at her plan F rates, which let's say that she was with Blue Cross and Blue Shield just for an example, and let's just say that she was paying $180 a month. Okay, we can move her to the same plan F with a different carrier, in this case, Liberty Bankers Life, for $137.46 a month. So we're saving her almost $20 a month, keeping her on the same exact plan. So it's very beneficial and very smart to shop around and make sure that you are never overpaying for your Medicare supplement plan. And a broker like myself has access to all the major carriers and can help you with that and switch you to different carriers year after year if those those rate increases start to keep up. Now keep in mind with Medicare supplement plans after your open enrollment period you will have to qualify to switch plans. So if you're unhealthy or you have um, a health issue that will not allow you to switch different plans you might be stuck on that plan. That's one downfall to these plans is they do go through underwriting after that open enrollment period. So it, while you're in your open enrollment period that's the best time to pick the plan that you want. So again, looking at these Medicare supplement plans, as we mentioned, here's Plan F, 100% covered on everything. Plan G, we can see 100% on everything but that little box right here, which is your Part B deductible. Again, that's the 183 per year. Plan N, again, is pretty much identical to Plan G, 100% covered. Your Part B deductible is not covered, and also your Part B excess charges. What is an excess charge? An excess charge is simply Medicare says that a procedure is $150. The doctor is charging $200. In that case, Medicare and the supplement plan is only going to pay the $150. He can charge you the extra $50 for that procedure. Most doctors and hospitals out there don't charge excess charges, but with Plan N, you are open to the possibility of being charged for those excess payments. And we talked about the the part, the deductibles that you will have to pay with Plan N, which is stated right down here. Part B, uh, $20 for some office visits and $50 for emergency room visits that don't result in an inpatient admission. And again, this is on page 80 of your 2018 Medicare and You Benefits. So again, my name is Michael Ferrara. I am your Medicare agent, and I appreciate you taking the time to watch this presentation. I hope you found the information useful, and if I can help you in any way, give my office a call. We can be reached at 815-254-0340, or reach us 24-7 at our email address, which is mferrara at ferraraservices.net, and we'll be happy to get back to you as soon as we can. But again, I appreciate you. I appreciate you watching, and uh, I'm here to help if I can. Thank you so much, and I hope you have an awesome day. Bye-bye for now. Thank you. Bye-bye.